my name is Jace and this is Fast Forward Design. Each week I teach new fast tutorials with easy step-by-step -step instructions on all things design. All right, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'll show you an easy hack to contour makeup in Photoshop. Adding a contour to different areas of your portrait photos like cheeks, chin, and nose enhances the structure of the face. By highlighting the good areas and shadowing the not so good areas, you can give a dramatic shape to the face. The key here is to do it subtly and with lots of blending. This is all done in two easy steps. One thing to note is that I already went ahead and added a smooth skin effect to the photos first. I'll post a link in the description below on how you can do that to your photo. Contouring is a combination of highlights and shadows. So in step one, we're going to paint on the highlights and shadows onto the image. Go ahead and create two new layers. I'll call one highlights and the other shadows. I'll start with shadows. Using your brush tool on full opacity, hold Alt or Option to sample a color of the face that has a shadow. Then paint on the shadow contour. You don't have to be exactly perfect with your brush because we will blend it out later. Just make sure that both sides of the face are fairly symmetrical. Next, we'll do the same thing with the highlight. Click Alt or Option with your brush tool and sample the lightest portion of the subject's face. And then paint on the contour. Now that we have this very strange contour situation, in step two, we're going to blend it out. This will make it look like it's real makeup on the model. First, change the blend mode of both layers to hard light. Then we're going to add a Gaussian blur to both layers. Let's start with shadows again. Click on the layer and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Slide the radius of the blur until the shadows are blended out well and click OK. Your photo may be a little orange, but you can fix that easily by clicking Command or Control U on the layer and lowering the saturation to adjust the color of the shadows. Next, we'll do the highlights. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again, and move the radius until the highlight is blended out and realistic, and click OK. Just to note, while not in this case, your highlight may affect other areas of your photo, like the eyes and lips. If this happens, create a layer mask and paint over the areas in black to remove the visibility of the highlights. And lastly, as always, if you find the shadows or highlights to be too strong, you can always lower the opacity to diminish the effect. 
And that's it. Now you have a nice, realistic contour makeup effect. Thanks for watching and let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. I post new fast and easy design tutorials every Wednesday. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos.